is the size of a large gift box, but it costs two crore rupees and two years of hard work from a bunch of kids still in college. The main objective of the SRM nano satellite is to monitor greenhouse gases, that is carbon dioxide and water vapor, over Indian subcontinent. ISRO will launch the satellite around July this year. After Anusat and Statsat, it's the third student satellite to go up in the air. This chip that we're using for communication in a satellite is a chip that is normally used in the mobile phones that we use in our daily life. Now, apart from this, we are using some flash drives. Now, the flash drive is similar to the pen drives that we use almost every day. Now, this is being used to check if it works in the radiative environment. Tiny student satellites are a cheap, quick way of testing new ideas. For example, this satellite uses magnets, not motors, to control its space flight. We actually control the satellite without motors using copper coils situated on all the three sides of the satellite and we send electricity, pass electricity through the coil which generates the magnetic field and as the earth is already magnetized, the satellite tries to align itself in the way we want to. The RSM project employed 54 students, but only four of them are women. M. Loganathan, a retired ISRO scientist who taught these students, says lack of industry support was a big problem. Almost up to the 40 lakhs of uh, rupees for the student projects which they cannot afford or the university cannot really provide that one. Balloon students have to be geniuses to make a complex satellite. If he knows Newton's law and Kepler's laws, he understands the space. Vijay Man Joseph in Chennai, in New Delhi, I'm Rati Chaudhary.